All right, quick uh, video for the instructable for the Nixie tube clock. Um, first off, don't worry about any of this stuff on the back half of the breadboard. It's for running two tubes, which I'll make a video of later. Uh, and also note, this is a 175 volt circuit. So right here, you got, you know, if you touch both those terminals or you end up touching, you know, metal on metal where the anode plugs in, you will get shocked. So just be aware of that. So power supply runs up and around. Uh, and as a step one, spliced wires, run that into the step up chip. And there you've got the positive coming over here into a 25K worth of resistance. And that runs into your uh, anode on the Nixie tube. Um, from you've also uh, you from your microcontroller side you've got of course grounded 5 volt logic and then you've got your A B C and D pins that run into the board and then you've got this hodgepodge of wires um, don't worry uh, look at the fritzing schematic to see where those goes and don't worry about this loose guy right here he's this guy is just a decimal on the tube and I don't use them for anything so he's just hanging loose and then you've actually got the Nixie tube itself, just, just counting up um, one number of time. And also, once again, with the high voltage, be careful. Back here is that anode, that anode wire where you see that white, uh, that white, I guess it's ceramic going down through the back of the tube. If you touch that and then one of those other wires, it will shock you. So be careful if you ever hear handling this.